so how are mango trees propagated? Well, for thousands of years, the only method really was planting a seed. And if you had a nice tasting fruit, you'd plant the seed in the ground and hope that you got a good tasting fruit from the tree that you just planted. So that's still the most common way mango trees are propagated throughout the mango growing areas of the world. So when you plant a seed, this is uh, what happens. This edge of the seed here opens up and it's actually pushed out by the swelling kernel and a root goes out and then also the future tree comes out of the, this little seed. It's not so little, but that's what happens. It gets to be a big tree. Uh, but there are disadvantages to planting seeds. One is that it can take more than 10 years for a, a seedling tree to produce fruit. And then another is that seedling trees tend to grow straight up. And you can correct for this by, you know, cutting the top of the tree frequently and then that encourages lateral branching. But still, it's a disadvantage. But the biggest disadvantage is that you do not know ahead of time how good that mango is going to be that the tree produces. And in some cases, it's equally as good, but a lot of cases, it's not as good. A real popular way of making sure that you get a quality mango is grafting. So today, uh, if you are a commercial grower or a homeowner that wants a specific type of mango, what you will be in the market for is a grafted mango tree. And this is a typical grafted mango. When this seed that produced the tree had just newly sprouted, perhaps the sprout was only about eight inches tall, they put a bud right into this soft tissue and well actually this is the bud that was in the soft tissue it sprouted and they cut off the original seedling so everything from this point up is 015 mango and so this tree will only produce 015 mangoes so this is important uh, for people planting commercial mango groves they don't want to deal with having a slightly different or completely different type of mango on every other tree. And so this gives one variety of mango for the whole grove or at least part of the grove. And if you are a homeowner and would like to plant a tree, uh, this kind of tree, a grafted tree like this, will produce that known fruit, in this case 015, and it will produce it in about ten, two years instead of 10 years. So definitely a good option for those people who are able to get grafted trees. So in many parts of the world, mango trees are also propagated by air layering branches off of a desired variety of mango or by rooting cuttings of that tree. And both of those methods do not produce plants that have tap roots. And tap roots are very important for us here in South Florida because we get hurricanes. And trees and plants that don't have tap roots tend to blow over really easily. So uh, we go with grafting trees most commonly and in some cases seedling trees. Another option in certain areas of the world is tissue culture. And tissue culture is something that is done in a specialized lab. And 
basically it's not the norm in Florida and it's probably difficult in other areas of the world because it is a rather specialized technique. <laughs>